The health and medical information provided during this webinar, as well as the questions and responses from the webinar providers, are solely for informational purposes. This content is not intended to take the place of advice or treatment from health professionals. Nothing presented in the webinar is intended to be used for medical evaluation, diagnosis, or treatment. It is not intended to substitute for your relationships with your own healthcare and pharmaceutical providers. Always seek the advice of your healthcare provider before beginning any new treatment or if you have questions regarding a medical condition. I want to make sure all you guys can see this. So the first thing you know I have in this file, let's say this is a medication, right? It's about half full. The first thing that I want to do before getting my medication prepared for injection is make sure I have all my supplies. So I have the vial. I have my alcohol swab pad, and I'll use two of these. I want to use one on the vial. I want to use one on my own skin. I have my injection syringe. There's also some neat devices available that can help make that injection process easier. Um, you know, this is not a absolute auto injector, but it is kind of a auto injector like device that you can plug a syringe into and can, can kind of conceal the needle and make that injection process much easier. So these devices are available. I believe MenMD has one. Um, and it can add to the convenience and take away some anxiety. Um, and of course, in terms, we talked about storage. You can store your medication or refrigerated setting. There are even, for people that travel or are on the go, uh, insulated totes and bags that you can get that actually have freezer components to them and will help keep some medication at the right temperature. Comes in all different sizes. So the first thing that I'm going to do, once I have my supplies in front of me, I'm going to have my vial here. I'm going to open up this alcohol swab. Pull that alcohol swab out, and this is just a very brief disinfection. We're going to penetrate this membrane to drop the medication, so I want to sure, make sure it's as clean as possible. Put that swab to the side. I'm going to open up my other alcohol swab. I have a model of a penis here. Side view front view. And the injection site that I'm going to choose, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to choose a right-handed injection site. And so I'm going to swab the right aspect of the penis. One thing that you really need to make sure when you're giving yourself this injection is the places that you don't want to inject. So from 11 to 1 o'clock, if we're, if we're all looking down, you can you know where 12 o'clock is. To the left of 12 o'clock is one o'clock. So from 11 to one o'clock, we have something called the neurovascular bundle. The neurovascular bundle is um, a part of the penis that houses a lot of nerves and arteries. And you definitely don't want to stick a needle in there. The other place that you want to avoid is six o'clock at the very bottom. And that's because the urethra runs at six o'clock and that's that tube that urine flows out of and you don't want to stick a needle in there. So I usually tell my patients 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock are good spots. 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock are also good spots. If you're you know, at 9 or 3 o'clock and you're a little bit off, you're not going to deviate into one of these more significant areas. If you do accidentally inject in one of those areas, it's going to hurt. It probably won't, won't be the end of the world or require a trip to the ER or anything like that, but it is possible. So I'm pretty vigilant on telling folks when I teach them how to do this uh, that you want to avoid those areas. So I'll put this down for a second and I'll drop the medication. So I have my basic insulin syringe. See on here are units. Um, Units pretty much correspond to 0.1 milliliter. I can uncap the syringe to expose the needle and get any excess air out of the syringe. I'm going to take my vial, just going to turn it upside down. I'm going to penetrate the membrane. And for a good starting dose, I want to go at 20 units. So I'm just going to slowly pull back on the plunger for the syringe to the 20 mark. I'm going to pull that needle out. 
I'm gonna adjust my grip on the needle, holding it a little bit like a pen. That gives me access to have some support from the needle support here. And also then I can use my thumb on the plunger. Going back to our model here, I usually tell my patients to inject kind of somewhere towards the base of the penis up to mid shaft this way. That's where things are a little bit girthier and I think you're gonna get a little bit more access to, to location. So coming in, this is gonna be at about 9, 30, 10. Penetrate the skin. That'll be the first thing. And then you're gonna feel, when you're in the right space and you keep advancing the needle, you'll feel a little pop. That pop is the erectile body tissue and it's a tough tissue. And that's why you feel that pop. Once you feel that slight give, that's how you know you're in the right space. And these needles are so small that they, you know, it's not gonna penetrate through. So putting the needle all the way in, you'll, you'll more than likely be in the right spot. Once you're there, simply push the plunger. All that medication is in. Slowly draw that needle out. There's typically no bleeding from that site, maybe one spot of blood. Um, and it's really simple. Yeah, that was a demonstration. I do demonstrations for my patients. Um, there's tons of videos online on how to do this. I next have a sharps container. Just gonna take that needle, put it in a safe place. Don't wanna be using needles twice um, and you wanna store them in a safe place. As far as the auto injector goes or auto injector like component, I'll, I'll just briefly show that to you guys. You pretty much drop your syringe into this area. It gets locked in place once it's in proper position. That needle is very slightly exposed. There's a button on the side, on the top here. Hit that button, it advances the needle. You push the plunger, that sends the medication out. So it's a pretty simple process. It can help keep that needle concealed if you have a little anxiety about seeing it. Um, and it can kind of overcome you giving yourself that little a little poke, it'll do it for you, and all you have to do is push the plunger. So I'll dispose of this again in the sharp container. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I, I really have not had any patients that have not been able to easily get good at that. Um, everyone's anatomy is a little bit different, but the vast majority of people's are, are quite similar. And, and performing this injection is a pretty easy task. If you'd like to learn more about erectile dysfunction treatments, you do have a few options. There are more resources in the Resource Center on menmd.com. You can visit this page to view instructional videos, guides, expert articles, and more. If your question wasn't answered and you'd like to follow up, you may call or MenMD at 857-233-5837 or log in to the MenMD portal to schedule an appointment with a personal health assistant. If you'd like to compare any of the treatment options we covered on tonight's event, you can do this by going to menmd.com and navigating to the ED condition page, scrolling down to the treatment section and selecting up to three of these ED treatment options to compare at once. And finally, you can learn more about penile implants and insurance coverage by visiting edcure.com. If you found this video helpful and want to stay in the loop with our growing men's health community, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Your support makes it easier for other men like you to find these helpful resources. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again.